Welcome to the third part of the Raptor tutorial series. In this, I will be texturing the mesh that I modeled from the sculpt before. So, in order to start texturing, I have to unwrap this model. So, I will go in and mark the seams. The key to marking seams is to mark them in areas that aren't visible on the first glance. That way, seams on the texture map won't be visible outright. Here I'm applying a checkered texture to the mesh so that I can see if my UVs are deformed or stretched. The key is to have perfect squares as much as it is possible to avoid stretching on the UVs. And as I go, I'm correcting the overlapping and areas in the mesh that have errors or issues. Here I noticed the eye of the mesh is not as it is in the concept art so I'm making those tweaks and changes as I go. After I have a decent UV map unwrapped here, I load my reference image and made a base color for the skin to start painting on. Here I make my color palette to start painting with. It's easier to have a color palette so that I don't have to pick from the reference image again and again. The tools here in Texture Paint are very much similar to the tools in Photoshop. So if you're used to painting textures like in ZBrush, you can do it on the mesh itself, but if you're used to painting textures on Photoshop, you can do on the image view as well. So after painting the texture on, I decided to add scales on the mesh. So I used a tileable scale image and I mapped it all over the mesh. I'm adding the scales as a bump map. And I'm tweaking the rotation of the scales or the location of it and the size of it. But I don't want the scales to be applied evenly throughout the mesh. So I decided to add a mask. Basically the areas that are white on the mask are where the scales would be shown and black are where the scales would be hidden. And gray is in between. So that's how I control the intensity and all where the scales would appear on the mesh.
So this is it for texturing the character. In the next tutorial, we will be rigging this bad boy. So see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.